Simple Shapes, coming up on The Amazing Art Show. and welcome to another edition of The Amazing Art Show. I'm your host, Angie Woolsey, and today we are gonna be looking at the work of Nicholas Krizhenik. And he has got some awesome work. It's very graphic, it is full of shape, full of color, and just really awesome thing to see. I don't have a picture to show you, I wish I did, but um, I think you'll kind of get the gist of what we're going for here in just a little bit. Um, so let me kind of go over with you what you're gonna need today. You don't need anything too crazy today. Um, if you can find some kind of poster board, this is actually off of, like I, ha I got a, like a cardboard, um, like you get the construction paper and you have all the different colors and you pull off the colors that you want. This was on the back. So that's mine. It wasn't any kind of special kind of cardboard. Um, you'll need some sheets of foam and um, just kind of get colors that are pleasing to you. And you don't need a whole lot of it, just a little bit. You'll need some regular um, Elmer's glue. You will need um, some different colors of acrylic paint and you wanna kinda keep in mind what colors of foam you have. Um, you know, kinda keep that in mind as you're selecting what acrylics you want to use as well. And you'll need a brush and some water obviously and your imagination. All right, so I think that we are ready to get started. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. We are gonna start by just basically putting like kind of blobs of paint on our canvas today. This will be our canvas today. So um, what you're gonna be doing is you're going to, I've selected my color palette, kind of keeping in mind the colors that I had chosen. And so remember that rule of three, where you kind of want to see the color um, show up in your composition, you know, about three times. And you don't want it to be like circles, so don't keep it totally, you know, circular or triangular. You want it to be very um, organic and kind of whimsical and fun. So just kind of pick some places and kind of just blob some paint down there. And obviously you don't want to put it too close together. And then I'm gonna rinse my brush. I'm also gonna dry my brush. You want your brush to be pretty dry, so apply these dry. And then I'm gonna come in with some purple. And keep in mind that these are gonna be wet as you're working with them. So um, they may tend to mix a little bit, and that's okay. Um, especially like your, you know, your purples and blues, if they happen to mix together, not a big deal. But if you get yellow in your purple, kind of a big deal, so kind of keep that in mind as you're working. And let's see, I'm gonna do maybe this corner over here. And I'm just keeping my, um, the shape that I'm kind of blobbing down on there, I'm just keeping it really random, very organic. It's not, we're not doing geometric shapes or anything like that yet but we may do some here in just a little bit. And you can also put, you know, kind of layer your colors. So I put some of that purple over um, the blue that I had there. And dry my brush off. And then I'm gonna roll into, I'm just gonna, I'm keeping it cool here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my green while I'm here. I'm gonna put green, and I do not have a lot of green paint, so I gotta, kind of used it sparingly. And when you are getting up next to a color where if the two mix, it would not be a good combination, kind of, kind of just be careful in that area. I'm all out of green, so we're done with green. Um, I've got a lighter yellow. 
I'm going to throw on here. I, actually, when I did this to, when I kind of was practicing the show today and I was pulling together what I was going to use, I actually just took my bottles of paint and I just squirted the paint right where I wanted it to be. Um, and that's something you, that's not normally what I would suggest, but for this project it kind of works. So um, you might want to do that too. You wouldn't even need a little palette to put your, plate, your paint on. And now my blue and my purple are drying just a little bit, so I feel pretty good about getting this so close to my purple. I'm just going to kind of just get it in there. And if it mixes a little, that's okay. I need one little more spot. I'm going to just kind of throw it in there. All right, and then the rest I'm going to add some orange. This is going to be orange intensive. Um, okay, now as I'm working, you can see that my cardboard is curling. It's like doing it all on its own because we're getting one side of it wet and the fibers that are in the cardboard are starting to constrict and move around and it's changing. So that's okay if that starts to happen. Don't worry about it. Um, but what you might need to do, you might need mom or dad's help with this one. Um, once everything is dry, um, you can iron it. If you will just flip it over um, to the back side and um, you can just, you could put a little towel over it if you wanted to and just iron it a couple times or um, you can get, make sure it's really good and dry and get some wax paper and put that down on top of it and then you could put some heavy books on top of it to kind of weight it down. I actually ended up doing both of those things because my board was, I don't know if it was especially humid in my house or what, but I got up this morning after working on it and it was all curled again and I was like, ah! after I just ironed it last night. So um, it's been sitting under books all day today while I've been at school, so. Um, all right, so just about got this one finished. I'm gonna kinda hit any other little places. And then I'm gonna show you. Okay, so that's kinda what I've got there. I've got a mess. All right, so I'm going to pull one that is already dry because I wanna show you this next part. All right, so I'm gonna slide that one over there. I'm gonna grab this one. This one you can see is a little less curly. A little curly, but not too much. All right, so I'm going to do this slightly different than I'm gonna show you my example here in a minute, and it's gonna be a little bit different, but I kinda wanted to see what it would look like for it to just be a little bit different. So um, on my example that I'll show you here in a minute, I used white paint and you're going to do a dry brushing technique. That means that there should be no water on your brush. It needs to be totally dry. And you're going to do a coat of white paint, um, just kind of going very lightly. You're just gonna brush it on top of everything. And what that does is it lets it be colorful, but it kind of unites everything. And then it lets your shapes, your foam shapes that we're gonna be talking about here in just a minute, it lets those really kind of pop and shine. Okay, so I am going to try it, just because I'm curious to see, um, what it would look like if I did purple, the light purple to kind of try to unite everything. So I'm just getting a little bit on my brush. I got a little bit too much, so I'm gonna get some off. And you're just gonna go back and forth. And you're just brushing very lightly. And it'll just kind of calm down your colors a little bit and kind of mute things. Purple's not too bad. I think I like the white better, but I think you'll get the idea. So you're gonna cover that. And then you're gonna need to let that dry. And while that is drying, you can actually start working on your shapes. 
So while I'm kind of finishing this, let's start talking about your shapes. All right, so you're gonna be using, um, we've been talking about this six weeks, we've been talking about shape, and we've been talking about geometric shapes versus organic shapes, and um, so that's kind of where this project kind of came into being. And um, so I'm going to say that I want you to kind of think about using a good combination of both. So you can have, you know, some organic shapes and I want you to have some geometric shapes. Remember your geometric shapes are like your triangle, circle, um, poly your polygons, your quadrilaterals, your um, hexagons, pentagons, heptagons, all the gons. And um, so you can use any of those and then your Organic shapes are like those shapes that are real whimsical and crazy. They come from nature. So you can kind of think about that. Now when I say nature, I don't really want you putting flowers on here or grass. I don't really want you to have a certain thing in mind when you're putting something on there. I really want it just to be kind of a shape, okay? All right, so these are my colors and I am going to start, I think, with this purple. And so I'm going to, I'm going to start here and I'm just going to start cutting out some kind of curving lines. And then as I go back, I'm going to just kind of follow that same path, kind of try to copy the line that I made before so that I end up, you know, with this kind of a shape or I have this kind of a shape. And you don't want them all to be the same size, so make some of them um, fatter, make some of them more skinny, make some of them shorter. I'm gonna make this one kinda come around this direction. This looks like a little abstract family. Okay, now I can use my, you know, I can use the positive shapes that I've cut out, that's what I've cut out, or I can use the negative of it, which is the part that is missing the shapes. So I am going to, I think I'm just going to trim right along this edge. I'm going to try to keep it as straight as I can. And I'm just going to kind of lay that on there so I can kind of get an eye on what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to do some other kind of shapes. I'm going to make these a little skinnier and a little smaller. And these I'm going to kind of put inside. And I do want you to think about kind of layering up your pieces. So what I mean by that is now that I've got those orange pieces on there, I might come back and put another color, you know, on top of the orange. So I want you to like really be layering a lot. And you're just basically gonna keep doing this. You're gonna keep cutting out um, shapes that are interesting to you. And like I've got this one that I just cut, my other ones have been fitting in really nicely. This one, not so hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda say, okay, what do I need to trim? And I'm just gonna trim it down until I can get it to fit in there better. That's getting there. I'm gonna give it a little curve right here. Okay, so let's, we can do it like that. Okay, and then like, let's say I'm gonna layer um, something on top there. I'm just going to do, I'm going to fold my piece of foam um, a couple times. That way when I'm cutting I can do several at a time. So I've got some ovals now so I'm going to pop these in here. And if I need to trim something down, obviously I can. Um, so right now, I've kind of got some very um, curving kind of shapes. Now I'm gonna take some of these and I'm gonna go a little more 
um, a little more angled. So I'm just going to kind of come in and do some interesting cuts. And you just want to kind of, you're going to keep kind of doing this process. And you're kind of filling it in, kind of like little puzzle pieces in a way, but you want to have space in between because we want to still be able to see the painting that is, is underneath there. And, but you want to also make note, this stuff, just get ready. It sticks to you like crazy. Either that or I just have a very electric personality. I'm thinking that's what it is. Just kidding. All right. So I'm going to kind of throw that in there. And now that I kind of see I've got this other shape that would, a triangular kind of shape would look pretty good in there. I'm going to trim it down a little bit. All right. And I wouldn't want to leave these plain. I definitely would want to come in. Ooh, I found a scrap and it's going to look so good right there. Yeah. All right. So um, I would come in and I would kind of layer some other shapes on top of that one. And I really want to try doing some of the white. That's one of the reasons why I decided to do the purple on top was um, I kind of wanted to see what it would look like to do some white foam. I didn't think it would show up quite as well on if I had done the white paint. So this was kind of an experiment which sometimes your best artwork comes out of just kind of experimenting. All right. So I've got these shapes and I'm just going to kind of bring them in here. And remember you're wanting to make, you know, all of your shapes very different. So don't, you know, when you kind of go kind of whimsical and crazy in one area, come back and make it a little more straight and edgy in other areas. And I think I'm going to come in with some blue. And I'm going to make these like just barely squiggly. And I'm going to layer those on top of these. And if you have anything that happens to stick off, just trim it. And you can actually do that when you get done. You don't even have to do it while you're working. I got, I had some very nice person that donated all this foam. I mean, I just had like bags and bags and bags of it. And I was like, what am I going to do with that? And um, I was so excited when I was actually reading um, a blog that I read every now and then. And it always talks about art stuff. and. And they'd had some adult classes, some adult art classes. And these ladies were looking at some of his work. And um, they were using paper. But I thought, wouldn't it be neat to do that with the foam? So worked pretty good. So you keep um, layering your pieces. And I'm going to kind of keep layering my pieces. And then while I do that, let's go to the quote for today. Our quote today is from Hedy Lamar an Australian and American film actress. A good painting to me has always been like a friend. It keeps me company, comforts, and inspires. All right, so I've been kind of working on this a little bit more. I'm gonna pull over my one that's a little closer to being done so I can kind of show you a little bit more about that layering. So um, you can kind of see some of the crazy and whimsical shapes that we've got going here. And my last little couple of shapes that I've got are more of those straight kind of angular shapes. And I don't even remember now how I had this. It was looking good last night. Not sure about now. Let's see here. I don't like that. Oh, what about maybe like that? I kind of like that. I think it needs a little piece of orange. I think I'm going to, just to be kind of fun, I'm going to make this one kind of like into a little arrow. I know that I told you not to make it into like a something, but I just can't resist. And this is kind of a wonky arrow. It's a little wonky.
Okay, so I'm going to put, that's going to kind of go right in there. And then I've been using um, some more of the geometric shapes to kind of lay on top. I've got um, some little triangles there. And um, so basically, you just keep layering and layering. And I've only got two layers, like I've got the purple and the blue here, and I've got a couple there. But it looks like the more layers you add, the better it gets. So it's like one of those things that if you just kind of keep layering on your colors, it just continues to grow and continues to pop and look really awesome. So that is it for today. I hope that you have enjoyed the show and I hope that you go make some amazing art. <laughs>